Hey there, Virgo. This is Lana, the comedian medium. I'm coming to you to bring you your August love and relationship reading. Please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading or hypnosis or pet reading or house clearing or Reiki or whatever I can do. Past life regression. I do all of it. I'm just kind of a jack of all trades or Jill of all trades, I guess. Anyway, um, please visit EnchantedSky.com. You can book a reading. You can visit all of my uh, social medias. You can visit my blog, thewisewomansage.com. You can even visit a couple of my links of friends who have stores. Um, no, I'm not making any money off it. I just, I just linked it to be nice. So there's a lot of stuff I'm not making money off of. So, okay. Um, with that said, I'm going to tell you a joke really quick and I'm going to get on to your reading. Um, what do you do when you see a space, man? You park your car in it, man. <laughs> I know it's stale. <laughs> but it's kind of funny. It took me a minute. I'm like, well, uh huh? Then all of a sudden I got it. Yeah. So. All righty. All right, you got a in relationship coming or something really good in the works. Someone's bringing you a cup of love. Okay, so, you know, you went forward with something somewhere um, and you said, what the hell? I mean, there's something here. There's a couple of here. You are really, really looking forward to the future and you are trying to put your ducks in a row and just trying to tiptoe around something. Um, now, this could be a... Um, fire sign. So it could be an uh, Aries, a Leo, or Sagittarius. But it also could be the woman of your dreams or the man of your dreams. Okay? And you're coming into August with the ultimate female, the ultimate create creator. So there could be a pregnancy event involved in this. Um, you know, it could be your writing, and I always say books are also, books are also children. Um, but this is an ultimate female too. I find it very interesting. These are the these are your concept of the ultimate female. Um, now there's a young person that's coming in also that's going to be here. That they're a page of cups. They're bringing a message, of emotional message, um, about love or about about relationships in general, and they can be very immature. They can be young. They also can be, they can be gay. They can be extremely creative. That's what this card means. It just goes all together with it. Now, you've got choices to make. So what's the kind of choice you're going to make here? Because they're telling you to make your choice. Now, be careful of your choice. Because they're warning you. Because if you look at this card, it's, there's something hidden in the middle of the card. There's another choice. It has not yet been revealed. So... You know, they're urging you to cut, cut loose, to just cut loose and go with it. Um, they're kind of making me feel like some people are a little bit too stuck and that they need to be unstuck, okay? Now, you're going with speed and haste, and you're, they're saying to stay strong. Stay strong. This could be a Leo card, too. Uh, stay strong because this could be you. I mean, you could be... Getting weathering a storm, there could be a little bit, you could be a little bit under the weather at times, but I feel like you need to get rid of somebody or something and you need to cut loose. We've got a sign thing here. This could be you, it's Virgo, but it also could be a Taurus or a Capricorn. Okay. All I know is that there's a new, there's a relationship coming. Now, this could be a pregnant. Here we go with another pregnancy. A pregnancy, a marriage, a new relationship, a new offering love of love towards you because here somebody's bringing you a cup of love and it is the knight of cups notice he is carrying that he is bringing a cup to you he's bringing a chalice to you and it he's carefully bringing it to you he's not wild he's carefully walking his horse towards you with that cup and going to give it to you and maybe you're going to get engaged Maybe you're going to move in with somebody. Maybe you find somebody and you're like, oh, this is so perfect. Now, what is interesting is I don't see the actual like like twin flame uh, cards, but I do see your ultimate female, the ultimate relate. I shouldn't say that ultimate relationship. I take that back there. 
All right. So let's see what we get out of these cards because these are, this is an emotional loss. You've been through, yep, you've been through that. Oh, there's my authority card right there. All right. Sometimes they get moved around just a touch. You're in the light. Recognition. Heart, your heart chakra is involved and love begins. There you go. This is the same card, guys. Love begins. So you got to open up your heart. I feel like a lot of people have been wounded and they're afraid to. And so they are being very careful how they approach this. They have been through some loss. There's been loss here. There's been, but they, they, they have to move on from some stuff and heal. Now, I feel like there's, when they mean recognition and reward, I want to say this is a karmic reward, okay? Um, you will also be rewarded for, or told to be rewarded for your hard work. Um, somebody, they'll, some kindness, some kind words of kindness are going to be given to you this month. Um, you're in the light. I mean, it's the light. It's the stars. You get your wish. You get to, you know, things are going your way grab it. Okay. Remember I told you to see your karma, grab it. Now you've been through emotional loss. So it's not like there's not been some crap going on. Okay. I mean, you remember that maybe you have to give somebody up and there's a new relationship starting. Maybe you've had to just let this all heal long enough so that you can start this, but there is a definite start of something here. Okay. And there's also somebody of an authority. So I don't know who that is. You tell me who that authority is. Is that authority a judge, attorney, a counselor? Is something involved with all of this? Because here's a king of pentacles sitting right here. That can be an authoritative figure. All right? I want to say that someone's bringing you something. Now, you can have maybe put it in the way to make it happen. But ultimately, this is all you. Okay, and see, look at you're opening your heart chakra and letting love in. Okay, there's a lot going on this month emotionally. I, I, like I said, I've said it a few times in some of my readings. So if you are a cross watcher, you'll realize that I am seeing big changes um, in all of us in August. Um, I know a lot of people are saying that I'm having lots of vivid dreams. This, that, and the other thing is because we are evolving as a species. And love is the ultimate. It's not hate, it's love that, that matters. And, and really, um, sometimes it seems like it's hard to attain, but it's not, okay? And that's what I believe these cards are trying to tell you, okay? Blessings to all of you. I will be coming back with your um, cusp readings for September within a couple of days. So just keep watching. I'll be coming back with the financial and the, the love readings. Um, blessings to all of you. And um, hit me up. I respond to every single thing. Tell me a joke. Do something fun. Blessings. And I will see you in a few days.